This conference will now be recorded. Flexible specification overview. You will understand what are the flexible specifications. Scenarios during which flexible specifications are used, under which circumstances, under which scenarios, we will be using this functionality. You will understand that. Prerequisites for flexible specifications to, to have a flexible specification functionality, what settings we need to do in the system, you will understand that. Then flex, flexible specifications planning, how the planning will happen for this functionality, we will see. Flexible specification selection during inspection lot creation. So during the lot inspection lot creation, how we are going to select the MICs from the flexible specifications. We will see that. Flexible specifications during results recording. So during the results recording, what, what uh, parameters you can change in the system that we can see, we will see. And finally, configuration related to flexible specifications. So what are the settings, backend settings we need to do in the system that we will see. So these are the topics we will be covering in the flexible specifications. Okay. So first we'll start with the flexible overview. Okay. So basically flexible inspection specifications are to be used because inspections cannot be fully planned in advance. Okay. This may be the case for inspections performed as a service, inspections during reworking, inspections as a result of complaints, or sometimes inspections in stability studies. Okay, so basically what happens is sometimes in all the scenarios, you may not be inspecting all the MICs. Okay, so let, let me explain you with the scenario. Suppose let's say you have a raw material have a raw material which is procured procurement to do the procurement for this raw material so when this raw material is received against po we are against po okay you inspect 10 mics there are 10 mics to be inspected for this material so you inspect all these 10 mics now later on let's say this material has come for recurring inspection but during recurring inspection they will inspect they will not inspect all the 10 mics again they may inspect only out of 10 only 5 mics mics okay and let's say there is a uh, there is an internal complaint by production so whenever there is a some complaint complaint they will inspect out of 10 only 2 mics okay so every time they will not inspect all the MICs in the inspection plan. Okay. So in this kind of scenario, now if if we have if we want to have this scenario, we have to create three three inspection plans. So the master data increases. So to avoid that excess master data, what they do is they use this functionality, flexible specifications, flexible inspection specifications inspection specifications so what they do initial time anyhow they will inspect all the 10 mics but let's say during the recurring inspection what they do out of the 10 they will select the 5 mics into the lot and when when they when they do a re-inspection re due to complaint then they will select only those particular two mics from the inspection lot so that uh, from the inspection plan so that's why this is called flexible inspection specifications. So as per your flexibility, as per your requirement, you will be selecting the MICs from the inspection plan. Okay, we will see how this is done in the system. Okay, so let's continue. The inspection specifications, the inspection specifications currently required are to be selected from a super task list during inspection lot creation. So basically what you do is, you select the required MICs from the task list. Task list means inspection plan. In our QM, the task list is inspection plan. So whatever the MIC is required, 
you will be selecting those from the task list inspection plan so it is called super task list the reason is it will have all the mic's all the mic's it is also called as sometimes universal plan we will create this in the system okay so to to use this functionality flexible specifications you need to implement this body in the system i will show you this body also you can use implementations for the body this body to use the function of flexible inspection specifications for the other inspection lot or this i will show it in the system okay so so basically what happens is the the flow is during the planning phase during the planning phase you create a universal inspection plan inspection plan where you will maintain all the inspection characteristics mic's and their inspection methods and sampling procedures everything you will maintain in the inspection plan next next phase during the lot creation during the lot creation what you do is flexible selection of inspection specifications means during the lot creation you will be selecting the required characteristics into the lot selection of inspection characteristics that are to be that are actually to be inspected let's say your universal plan have 10 mic's but during the lot creation you want to inspect only four four mic's so out of the 10 you will be selecting the four mic's which i will show it in the system okay next results recording so during the results recording you still have the option of flexible changing of inspection specification that means you can change the inspection method you can change the tolerances like upper limit lower limit or you can change some parameters that is also possible okay so this we will see it in the system okay so now we will start with flexible specifications planning okay so basically uh, in the planning phase i just explained you you set up the qm data in the metal master master you must set the following indicators you you activate the inspection type as standard sap settings you you put manual sample calculation i'll show you this in the system and you have the task list here it is called super task list okay where you maintain all the mic's and the characteristics mic's this is in the planning and also a task list suitable for inspection type exists for the corresponding material so you create a inspection plan super task list or or universal inspection plan okay this task list should include inspection specifications characteristics and other data okay so now let us let's go to the system let me show you this okay so let me log into the system okay let me take a material which is already there in the system let me just execute okay so i am taking this material i have already created this material okay so first let me show you the master data metal master okay go to mm03 okay let me enter the material and i will go to the qmu quality management default setting go to qmu plant is triple zero one here if you go to inspection setup if you observe carefully i have activated a custom inspection type z1 i will show you why i have activated this custom inspection type okay when we go to the prerequisite setting okay so it has been activated and also there is a task list settings all the remaining settings are already there okay now let me show you the uh, inspection plan okay so let me go to i'll open one more session 2p03 I have already created a inspection plan. So enter the material, enter the plant, enter. Okay. We have only one operation. Select the operation, go to characteristics. Okay. If you see here, I have already entered three characteristics here. Okay. What I will do, I will add one more characteristic here. Let me go to change mode. Okay select the operation go to characteristics i will add one more here okay. 
okay i will add 